Uh, how's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Gay, right back into it with another Grim pick. And because we kind of came up with a tie for the dealer's choice, I decided just to kind of give it away to DK Chin and their request that we try to recreate the high caliber rifle from Red Dead Revolver. Here's to you, Lord. I'm kind of happy we're running out of guns to actually recreate from that game because, uh, I'm not gonna lie, as much as I dig it, what am I moving on to something else that's not Red Dead Revolver? That said, without further ado, let's go ahead and break down the gun piece by piece, shall we? Starting off, of course, as usual, with the barrel and the fact rifling does nothing cosmetically, so you have no reason not to throw on the improved rifling. Which I don't have. Why do I not have improved rifling? Oh, right, I don't use this gun. My bad. As per usual, the stock iron sights, you want to stay true to the gun. No one's going to cry, though, if you throw on the improved iron sights. No scope with this, obviously. Stock, as my usual motif is, wide grain. Though, I'm not gonna lie, with the particular varnish I have for this, honestly, it doesn't look too bad in any of them. Probably be safe with that. And of course, no wrap. Now, again, the most important part the style. Starting off with the metals. Now, you could go with iron. I went with nickel, and honestly, you could probably go with silver for the barrel, the hammer, the lever, the sight as well as the trigger, while the frame itself is just going to be brass. I don't know, I'm a fan of nickel plating on this for some reason. But again, that's usually why we uh, go with dealer's choice. Engravings! We're sadly not going to go with full engravings, however, we are going to throw on some, most specifically the Victorian, in brass for the inlay, and we're only going to have that on the frame. It's weird, and it's hard to find a decent enough picture of the gun, but strangely enough, the frame does have some kind of engraving to it. It's strange. It's really simple, though, oddly enough, and really none of the engravings really work for it, but the Victorian does come close enough to sell it for me. No carvings as per usual, and finally for the varnish, we're gonna throw... I can never pronounce this. Someone will correct me in the comments. Bubinga? Bubanga? Wawa well, well, Bing Bang, I don't freaking know. It's one of those. It's, it's this one. You want you want this varnish. Just because of the rosy tint. Well said, that's it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of this gun personally. I mean in single player or online just because of how inaccurate the damn thing is. And honestly, I have better luck with more accurate guns than I do with things that just put out bigger shells, bullets, and uh what have you. Well said, that's it for this, and as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. And if y'all did enjoy, as usual, a great way to show all that support is by, well, liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, sharing it with your friends. And again, while again, I'm not taking requests on the Grim Picks per se, I am always open to suggestions, and if something really pops out to me, I'm not gonna lie, I'll make a video on it just for fun. Anyway, I've stumbled my words enough, and I gotta go make dinner now, so... Once again, thank you all for watching, and as usual, cheers to those that love us, the losers that lost us, and as always, the lucky sons of bitches that get to meet us. And we'll catch you all in the next video. Which is going to be me and Big J screaming at an old game that occasionally jump scares us. I like Resident Evil 5. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a fun game. I promise. I might be lying. It's still kind of a fun game. Join us tomorrow and find out.